You've heard of Cookie Clicker, Clicker Heroes, or Adventure Capitalist before, right? They're a part of the overdone genre of clicker games. What would you do if you had one hour to make a game like one of those? Well, that's exactly what I had to do. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Alright, <laughs> I've already lost some time. Let's get this cat out of here. Now, this challenge is going to be a bit difficult. Most mainstream games are made throughout years of programming, designing, and creating. Even game jams, which are game design challenges, take place usually within a day or two, some even lasting weeks. So one hour to create everything with this game is pretty short. I decided to make this game about clicking money because I'm the most original person in the world with the best ideas known to man. Words, look at that. It looks great. I don't know why I'm working so much on the visuals. I then went into coding the dollar bill so that you can click it and increase your imaginary money points. Look at that. We're pretty much already there. Now, let's play a game. What's the next logical way to make money? A. Working an entry level job for minimum wage. B. Buying lemonade ingredients, making your own lemonade, and then selling it on the street. C. Beg your mom for $100 because you can. Or D. Just print it. And you guessed it. D, we're just going to print it. Printers. We're gonna print money. So I went on and started to design a button for buying printers to, of course, print money. This includes text to indicate how much they cost during the game, which is going to increase for each printer you own, which will also be shown. What I've made is I've made a button with the cost and how many you own, and let's get programming on this. I then went on to program this button to actually work. I'm using a system where buying your printer will increase this money per second value I made. As the name suggests, your money increases by that amount every second. After programming that system, as well as making sure buying a printer actually removes the money, this is what I had. So now, by full screen, get up to 10, which takes a bit. I could purchase it, now I have one and my money's increasing one every second. All right, after printing our own money, I decided we needed to go the legal route and actually own some stores to sell products in. But instead of dealing with having to set up a store and blah, 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 you could just purchase one and it'll make you money. So I then went on to make a button for this in a similar way to the printer button. Sure, I think this is fine. I'll change the background. Let's go for, I was gonna say red, but it's gonna blend too much in. So let's go for like a darker red. All right, here we go. So similar, in fact, that I straight up copied the printer button and just turned it into a store button. But that's what you do when you only got an hour. I just had to change some variables into new ones, and boom, we got a store purchasing button. Start it up. We're gonna grind for the uh, 100, there we go. Throw one of these down. Now our money per second is cooking. So at first we were printing dollars, but now we were legally obtaining dollars through store owning. What could we possibly do next to make so much more profit? Oh, I know. Invest in cryptocurrency. <laughs> what if I just went to crypto? <laughs> crypto. Let's go for it. That's what all big YouTubers do with their money anyway. With the stock market, it's just too hard to manage with the buying and selling. Why not just buy and have it make money? Look, I know it makes no logical sense, but why not? And it's done. There we go. Crypto bot. See, now, now we're making crypto money. Well, that's gotta be enough progression in this game for now. What else could you do with your money after buying crypto? Nothing, I guess. Let's start with like the background. All right, this is pretty, just pretty boring. I'm not gonna lie, let's, let's make it a little better, a little, a little spicy. So then I took a look at what I had and decided the background just looks way too bland. So I added a section divider for buying buttons and put it under a shop label. Because you can buy printers, crypto coins, and entire stores inside one shop. But it works or so whatever. Um, hmm, what now? We should add particles. Now one genius thing all these clicker games do, at least Cookie Clicker does, is to make clicking actually visually pleasing. To make each click on that cookie feel worth it and impactful, like when you finally decided to get that job for the summer, Jeremy. Get off your mom's couch for once and sorry i don't know what that was about anyway here are particle effects <laughs> what about that whenever you click the dollar it like flies out like that and to make clicking even more and more worth the click i decided to make the dollar grow and shrink a bit this just adds a little polish and for some reason seeing what you clicked react to you just feels nice so now it's a little smoother and it looks a lot cooler. Oh, and the final, final thing that made this game just come alive if the dollar was just spinning. 
I mean, why not? Well, except that it took a long time to get it right because I decided to make it really smooth for no reason. I mean, I literally could have used this time to make it more counter for the game or something. But dollar spin. That doesn't look half bad. It does all cool stuff when you click it. All these particles that lag out the stream really bad. Doesn't this look really enticing to click? Also, I decided to make the buttons and the dollar get brighter when clicked, and the dollar also gets darker when smaller. But that's all the game details and polish done. Let's make a thumbnail. That's what we should do. Lastly, I made a thumbnail for the game in the last four minutes of this challenge, and that's it. That's one hour entirely spent on game development. So here it is. There it is. Oh, it's annoying. So that's it, that's the challenge. This is the Money Clicker game. Okay, so I accidentally made all the numbers invisible when making the thumbnail, so I went in to fix it. Don't judge, it doesn't matter that the timer's up, the game is unplayable this way. Anyway, finally, here's the game. And then, there you go. If you want to try the game for yourself, it's the first link in the description. It works on mobile too if you're wondering. Thank you for watching to the end. If you liked the video, hit the like button so I know you like this video. And subscribe if you want to know when I upload next. Thank you and have a good day.